I've experienced so much suffering with him. He has beaten me and hurt me more than my own father did. Here is a proof of the injuries. I've got them all over my body. If I go back to him, he'll kill me in the end. Since 2012, UNFPA has led life-saving activities in several camps that host Malian refugees throughout Burkina Faso. Our actions relate to preventing and raising awareness of gender-based violence as well as providing psychosocial support to victims. These activities fall within the framework of the project called Prevention and Response to Gender-Based Violence in Humanitarian Emergencies and are implemented in partnership with several partner organizations, including UNHCR. UNFPA helps prevent and respond to gender-based violence. They also provide training for professionals on the Minimal Initial Service Package, MISP, for emergency situations and case management of survivors. Et la prise en charge de cas. In 2013, as well as advocating to field partners for the protection of victims of gender-based violence during humanitarian emergencies, UNFPA has contributed significantly to the establishment of a rapid intervention unit. The most common types of gender-based violence are physical aggression, denial of access to resources and psycho-emotional violence. After experiencing these situations, the victim feels uncomfortable and is prone to more pain and psychological suffering. We intervene by providing psychological help. On the issue of sexual and gender-based violence, we've strengthened the capacity of over 150 people to assist with preventing and responding to situations of gender-based violence. With our partners, we've worked on developing standard operational procedures for the prevention and care of women who've been victims of gender-based violence. Since 2012, all the gender-based violence cases that were reported have received psychological, social, medical and legal support from UNFPA. More than 50,000 people have been reached by the activities carried out by our 33 relay agents aimed at raising awareness of gender-based violence. These efforts have led to concrete results that have benefited refugees and displaced populations. However, many challenges still remain, and there is a need to mobilize more partners on the issue of gender-based violence. One morning I went to the police to explain the problem. After the police arrested him, he took our son away and kicked me out of the house. I went back to the police and they arrested him again. After we both gave our version of the facts, they gave him a warning. <laughs> 